Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning there, pork. There you are, chops. You want your feed right over there? All right, we'll go down here. There you go. Next time we move them, we'll have to make the area a little bit smaller. You girls ready for some alfalfa pellets? They're like, well, yeah. You had to ask? It's supposed to rain at some point today. I'm hoping we can get the tin roof up on the eave overhang before we get rained on. So I got a game plan for that and hopefully we can get that going good so it'll go nice and smoothly and we can get it done productively. We get asked all the time, what do we do with the goat's milk? I bring it in the house, I strain it. We have a funnel, it has a paper strainer on it. The strainer's made to strain the goat's milk. We buy them, I think they're like 300 or 250 in a pack, they're disposable. They're made for straining milk. I strain it and I stick it in the fridge, let it get nice and cold. We don't pasteurize it, but then we use it to drink it. So we'll drink raw milk. I'll put the raw milk in my coffee as my coffee creamer. Now that we're milking willow twice a day, we're getting quite a little stockpile going on. So we'll be able to start making cheese and goat's milk soap. Willow knows. The other goats go over to the milking stand, see what they can find. I put it out here, Hope. It's out here, Hope. There you go. There are your kids, Willow. They're safe and sound. It's that old CWC I see over at New York City already. You just never know where she's gonna be. Can't believe she's already made her way over. What are you doing, old CWC? You didn't get enough grain at the pig pen this morning? Huh? Your chicken's almost ready to go to New York City. You think you'll be able to stand the city life? I can't wait till these chickens start laying eggs. We'll have some dark green eggs and some like chocolate brown eggs. Oh, that's gonna look so nice in those nesting boxes. CWC, really? You're that hungry every morning? You need two breakfasts back to back? Look at her crop. Her crop is right there at the bottom. It is full. Yeah, turn around, let me see your full crop again. That's where they store their feed after they eat it. She's like, I'm not letting you see. See the big bump? That's full of grain. And you're coming for some more? Oh, CW. Morning, Moose. Let's head down to the barn this morning and get started on the roof. Man, that barn's gonna look so nice. I can't wait till we have the eave overhang on this side up and we can see what the profile of the building's gonna look like. Need another little notepad to write on. Where can we find one? What about this? That'll work. Here. So, let's, so if the tin comes uh, here, Figure out. All right. So we're gonna need the first hole. We'll do at four inches again. That works. Four inches. And then we're gonna go um, thirty-three. Thirty-three. Then we're gonna go fifty-three. That should be seventy-three and then 93. 
There's our tin. Okay, so this is the last piece. I'm not going to get this one drilled in place yet. So these ones are not flushed up. I need to flush them up so we can drill them all together. I don't want this. There, that flushes them all up. Let's go check that end. Yep, yeah, we're nice and flush there. I like it. Now these are all pre-cut to length so we don't have to cut them but we're going to double check make sure they are the right length 103 103 okay grab our notepad i don't want to go off memory and get one wrong so this is the top i want the edge without this lip to the outside front of the building and this is the top and then i'm going to put my first screw hole at four inches on just the inside edge of the rib. I'm gonna mark it. And I'm gonna mark it for um, 33. And I'm using my tape measure as a, the width. And I'm gonna do that there, here, here, and here. So I'll do 33. Like say 53. 73 and then 93 so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish marking all this and then we'll be right back all right it's all marked let's find the drill bits all right this is the new one we should have that other one somewhere let's see if we can find it right here let's use this one first Last hole to pre-drill. Right here, right here is our metal roofing screws. Perfect. As we had last time, get these out. That's what, probably 250 screws. That'll get us quite a ways. We're gonna need our impact drill and over here somewhere you remember where we put them I think down here in this box we should have our bit for the yep right nope I think right here is our magnetic bit yep perfect any other screws in here The metal roofing screws have a rubber washer under a metal washer. So when you tighten them down, it squishes this rubber washer and makes a nice tight seal to the tin so they're not gonna leak. And the manufacturer recommends screwing on the valleys, like the way we've been screwing and not in the peaks. Let's get a bunch of these sheets up. I'm gonna stack them up. And leave them in position. So they're right here when we need them. And we don't have to keep getting down off the roof. All right, so here's the first panel. All 
Alright, let's grab one more. Get five set up for now. get it up we need to keep a two inch overhang this might prove to be interesting because last time we did the roof we had we were able to put a ledger board up to hold the tin in place for us as we worked it but also this time we don't have such a steep pitch either so it might not slide on us Pretty darn close right there. Let's give it a measure. We have two and an eighth. Two and an eighth right there. Let's see how we're doing down here. Try to make sure this is nice and straight. So six inches. Six inches. Whew. That's what we want to see. I like it. Okay. So. Let's just double check everything before we start setting it. Two and an eighth. Look down it, it looks good. Two and an eighth. Just over six. Just over six. All right, we're gonna set this in place. I'm gonna set this in place with two screws for now. I don't want to get too crazy until we get the other sheet up, but we'll put two screws in so we don't have it moving on us. I did think about adding some skylights in, but the OCD in me wouldn't let me. So the issue with the skylights is they're not the same panel design and they're not as long as these ones are, if that makes sense, or wide as these ones are. And if I did that, it would put my roof pattern off and that would drive me bonkers. So I'm gonna put this one in. I got a few pieces up on the roof and I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Right here they call it the dog tooth effect. See that and it's growing. I thought that was gonna happen. Let me get over here and I'll explain it to you and how we're gonna remedy it. And it's the reason why I only put a couple of screws in this piece of tin at first. So this ledger two by six, it's rough. So we're working with rough sawn lumber. It's never always the same thickness. It's never always the same dimension. So this is something to keep in mind. Let's get up here. And we put our rafters in. We had that kind of little crown that we had to cut out. So that same thing that would happen there is gonna to happen to our roof. The way to fix that is we need to keep this roof panel down further. You won't see it because we have a two foot wide piece of flashing we need to put on. So the flashing is gonna go up here, 12 inches. It'll come down and it'll bend over and it'll go over the top of our roof. So we have a lot of room to work with. So this piece, I'm gonna drop down an inch and then that'll clear up any of the discrepancies we have in the rough sawn lumber. So you have this rough sawn lumber, which is wider and then you have the different jots. The siding is also not always the same thickness. So you're working with the inconsistency with rough sawn lumber and just the inconsistency with wood. So you gotta be able to make those up one way or another. And we're gonna do that by cheating this down. Get rid of those two screws because our washer has been crushed. 
All right, so now let's cheat this down, see if we can just go straight down. I think something like that. I like that right there. So we had six inches. That'll work. Two and an eighth. I like that look. Okay, so let's put a screw in here. We're not going to tighten it all the way yet. And a screw in here. Let's put this up and in place. So we're able to fix that sheet. We got, got it to fix it on this one. I like that right there. I'm gonna set a couple of screws in. I'm gonna put those sheets in and we'll check those. Good. That's good right there. And check that last one. And if that last one looks nice, then we're we're free to go. Oh yeah, we got it. We're in good shape now. I'm happy with that, where we're gonna stop putting some screws in. Right, let's move this one. It's just got one screw in it. It'll be a lot easier. <sighs> Note to self, don't keep putting extra tin up here. There. Damage these too badly. Uh -huh. No damage. I like it. I like it a lot. Stay now. <laughs> All right. There we go. Boom. Bring it down. Wipe off the old dirt. That was my bad. We're looking good on the rafter still. Nice and flush. So now we're nice and straight here.
Oh, it's gonna be nice to have all the tin up. Feel the weather changing. There's a storm at brewing. easier to do it now than it's up. And we have the one other piece that they've cut to width. I'll save that to the end and we'll drill it out after. Last piece, we gotta go drill. Grab this and this. So, this is going to be the top. only set of holes we can drill is this set that's on strapping and the rest of it is gonna be over here so again we are going to be 93 73 Center. All right, it's good to know. Seven and a quarter, 93. And then we can mark 73. We'll get those ones screwed from here, and we'll have to grab the ladder and go over to the side. Hi. 
I like that. You have one roll of flashing right here. Awesome. Let's get this swept up. So the, with the kit comes roll flashing for the roof. Watch your fingers. So let's roll this out and see what we can do. Just gonna wanna go, ready? Wow. Like, I thought this was gonna be the worst part until I figured this out. We're over the hardest part. Ah, okay, so we wanna be around 12 inches. 12 inches right on the money. That ends not. That was a workout, I will say that. Let's go to 12 inches. All right, gotta work this end back up and in. One more in, and we'll stop there. And then we'll get some more flashing and work it up. I had to take that last sheet off so we could get it up and under and pull it. This is working pretty slick. Ah, let's see. Ah, I like it. That right there. Yeah. Get that one. There. Get this one. Nice, I like it. I hear you pigs, where are you hiding? There you are. Want your afternoon snack? Where are we gonna put it today? Huh? Where do we want you to work? It's looking pretty good over here. Let's go back here. Can work that area a little bit more. You girls still have plenty of hay. Let's check your water. 
Oh, you got plenty of water still too. Let's check the kiddos. Plenty of water. They got hay in here still. What are you doing? Huh? Looks like that rain's gonna be here any minute. Let's check and see how the pig's water's doing. They're about half full. So that rain we get today will help fill that back up. Let's see if we can get the eggs collected before it rains. Okay. You gonna get the chicken today, Tanner? You gonna herd it in? I was like, nah, my herding days are done. Come on, get the chicken. It's too hot these days. Well, that was an easy catch. Look at them clouds. How many eggs today do you think? What did we get yesterday? 18 maybe? Then like 19 or 20. 19 or 20 she says. Oh, we got two ladies in here. Oh. There goes Moose. Oh my god. <laughs> Four. Oh, six. Five. Five. He, no, he like was running then he like Come on. Seven. Nine. Eleven. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty. Right. This time. Just wait till our new chickens start laying eggs. Yeah. Hey Figaro. We did end up getting a pretty good rainstorm this night, but I was too tired to go outside and share any of the footage with you. Whew, that was a warm day out on the roof. I was sweating pretty good while I was up there, but it looks nice. I'm so glad it is done. Can't wait to start the other side. Fun fact for you, I keep getting asked quite a bit, how much time am I, do I have in the barn and how much time do I have in filming and editing? I have more time involved in filming and editing the barn than I do actually building the barn. That being said, I'm enjoying all of it. I'm not complaining, but we just keep getting asked quite a bit, so I thought I'd share that little fun fact with you. And I also wanted to share this quote with you. It really hit home with me thinking about the little oopsies we had and having to take apart some of the stuff I built last week. Never confuse a single defeat with a final defeat. That is so true, whether it's in life or a project we're working on. Just because we hit a hiccup doesn't mean it's over. We just need to walk it off sometimes, come back at it with a new attitude and a new perspective. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us, guys. You are a true blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.